You usually find hydrogen peroxide in the first aid aisle or in your first aid kit at home, but there are so many extra uses for hydrogen peroxide aside from just taking care of wounds and scrapes and burns. So stick around and I'll show you seven cool ways you can use hydrogen peroxide. And just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already, to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel and like this video if you have a bottle of hydrogen peroxide in your first aid kit. So what's the deal with hydrogen peroxide and why does it work so well? I'm glad you asked. Hydrogen peroxide you normally find in your first aid kit because it's really great at cleaning your wounds. You put a little bit on the wound, it helps bubble up any of that bacteria or dirt right to the surface, and it really keeps things clean, helping you not get an infection. So think about that science and kind of apply it to cleaning. It disinfects as well, but it does so many other things too. Now, something to know about hydrogen peroxide, it remains in this brown bottle at all times until just before you're going to use it. When it's in this brown bottle, it's protected. And the minute that it's exposed to light, like the rest of us, it becomes unstable, not like the rest of us. So you wanna make sure that it's always locked up until you actually need it. Let's start things off in the application that most of you guys know about already, hydrogen peroxide as a stain remover. It's a great alternative to bleach, except it's not chlorine bleach and you use it for first aid. So I feel a lot better about using hydrogen peroxide. The way I like to use hydrogen peroxide is in a solution of two parts hydrogen peroxide and then one part dish soap. Mix that all together, blot up your stain first, apply this solution to your stain, let it sit for about five, 10 minutes, and then launder it as usual. This solution really helps nab those stains. And you can also use it on carpet stains or upholstery stains. I don't know about you, but I'm really not into ingesting pesticides. Thank you very much. So a great way to deal with that is to make a solution. You can use one liter or one quart of water. They're about the same. To that, you're going to add a cup of hydrogen peroxide. There's your solution. Dump in your produce that you want to wash. Leave it there for a few minutes. Give it a good rinse give it the old pat and dry, and that way your produce will be ready for you to eat, no bacteria and no pesticides. We get asked a lot about how to clean grout, and recently we had a little bit of a garbage spill at the house, and some garbage juice got into a grout line, and there was a really quick solution for that using hydrogen peroxide, so I will share that with you guys. All you need to do is mix two parts baking soda to one part hydrogen peroxide, Get out a cleaning toothbrush, give it a good stir, apply that paste to the affected grout line, leave it for a few minutes, give it a good scrub with that cleaning toothbrush, rinse really, really well because the baking soda is going to leave a fine, gritty kind of feel behind, so you gotta get rid of that. But once that's gone, your grout is gonna look amazing. A lot of people use bleach to clean their toilet bowls, and here's a quick distinction. Bleach doesn't actually clean, it disinfects and it can help whiten stains. Well, if you don't wanna use bleach, you can sub in hydrogen peroxide. All you need to do is pour about a cup to a half cup, whatever you got lying around, in the toilet bowl, leave it there for a couple of hours, then get your toilet bowl brush, give it a really good swish in that bowl, get under the rim, go nuts on the toilet bowl. Then give it a flush, and what that will do is help break down stains and get rid of any lingering bacteria. Hydrogen peroxide is incredible in the laundry room. The same way you would use bleach, you can use hydrogen peroxide, but frankly, I'd argue that hydrogen peroxide performs even better. Not only does it whiten white, but new moms who ask me all the time how to deal with baby stains or cloth diaper stains, here's all you have to do. Take a cup of hydrogen peroxide, add it to the bleach compartment in your machine, or just add it to your wash as you normally would with bleach, let your machine do its thing. Hydrogen peroxide has this amazing ability, especially with protein stains, to break the bond between the dirt and the material. And that way, your stain will loosen up, it'll be able to wash out much easier, and you will have better looking laundry. If you've ever looked at your toothbrush and gotten a case of the ugh, then this is what you need to do. Fill a cup halfway with hydrogen peroxide and take your toothbrush and dunk it in there. Leave it for about 30 minutes or so. The hydrogen peroxide will help get rid of any bacteria on your toothbrush, making it smell better, 
if you ever sniff your toothbrush, just take my word on it, it will smell better. And it will also be free of bacteria, which will help keep you healthier, especially with fold and, fold and, fl fold and flu season coming up. That would be cold and flu season coming up. If you're looking for a quick, easy disinfectant in your kitchen, look no further than the friendly brown bottle of hydrogen peroxide. Now, quick note here, you wanna make sure that you test it in a hidden area on your kitchen surface before you actually use it in a wider spread application, just to make sure you don't get any weird discoloration. After all, hydrogen peroxide does technically have the ability to bleach things. So if you want to use it in a kitchen, to disinfect an area, say you've got some meat on the counter, you wanna give it a good cleaning afterward, here's what you need to do. Take some hydrogen peroxide and spray it onto the surface or you can just sort of sprinkle it out from the bottle on the surface. Leave it for about 10 minutes. That will give the hydrogen peroxide the ability to do its thing. Then you wanna wipe the surface clean and then if you want to, you can give it a good final rinse and the surface will be clean and mostly bacteria free. One of my favorite things about doing all of this clean my space stuff is that I get to share with you guys all of the great applications for household items, like for example, hydrogen peroxide that you would find in your first aid kit. We talk about baking soda, rubbing alcohol, dish soap, vinegar, lemon, salt, all kinds of stuff. So if you haven't seen those videos, I recommend that you check them out. And if you have any interesting uses for hydrogen peroxide, let us know about them in the comments down below because this stuff is super versatile and very, very interesting. So the next time you see a bottle of hydrogen peroxide at your drugstore, pick some up. If you wanna see what I'm up to during the rest of the week, aside from playing around with hydrogen peroxide, but don't worry, I'm safe. You can find me on Instagram and Snapchat. I am at Melissa Maker, the guy who always manages to pick up an extra bottle of hydrogen peroxide or rubbing alcohol or baking soda. I've taught him well. He is at the Chad Reynolds and we are at Clean My Space. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Well, it's that special time of the week where I get to throw you to a couple of other videos I think you're going to love. And since we're talking about great uses for household things, I thought I would direct you to our baking soda video. It's great. And then you can also check out our rubbing alcohol video, which is super informative. I mean, between all of these household things, hydrogen peroxide, baking soda, rubbing alcohol, you could be like a cleaning master for just a few bucks. It's a good thing, trust me. If you haven't done so already, visit our website. It's cleanmyspace.com. You can also sign up for our newsletter there. It's called The Dirty Dish. It's free, it comes once a month, and it's just for you. Thanks guys, see you next week.